and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some budget mono red. Our fourth uh, mono color budget deck. We're doing each color. We've made a budget deck for each one. The criteria for it to be a budget deck is uh, no more than eight rares. And that's two play sets. So for this deck, we have Fervent Champion and Runaway Steamkin as our rares. And no more than two Mythics. Of course, we have the two Ember Cleaves as our Mythics. Everything else, common and uncommon. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is our, our Mono Red deck. Uh, we've been playing against a ton of Mono Red today. So we'll kind of see how this does against other Mono Red decks. And, um, you know, Mirror Match, even though we're playing... A little bit of a budget version. Um, the reason why, of course, I'm doing this, I just had a lot of people ask for uh, budget decks, as in decks that are more friendly on your wild cards. Um, and so we've, I'm starting with making a monocolor deck for each one because with monocolor, you don't have to worry about getting a whole bunch of rare lands. Um, this specific deck, of course, mono red is, is a very popular deck. You know, it, it could be upgraded by playing more Embercleaves, playing castles, playing... Um, robber of the rich uh stuff like that but we're going uh, budget version and let's see how it does i like i'm pretty excited about playing claim the firstborn i think this is going to do some good stuff of like you know stealing their blocker attacking in for a lot um yeah so i'm excited about claim the firstborn you know we have infuriate to try to do some more damage um claim the firstborn remember you can target your own creatures with this card so you can give your creatures haste Runaway Steamkin, Rimrock Knight, Annex. These cards don't normally have haste. You can give them haste, though, with your Claim the Firstborn. Um, okay, so let's... Uh, let's uh, go ahead and give this a try. Here we go. A teak tree. Getting that resub for seven months. Thank you so much there, tree. Hey Amir, I've I've actually never drafted this set, so I don't really have good feedback to give about a draft deck. Because I've never drafted the set. Um. Yeah, no. Shaper, that's that's something I've just been I've gotten a lot of feedback on on uh, this before of people wanting like not wanting the um, the results up there because want to watch the YouTube videos in different orders and stuff. Don't want to get spoiled by the results. Stand by and watch. I've got time. And so I, I'm. I'm giving that a try. You know, if you want to know the results, of course, you just still just you type exclamation point score into the chat here. This is a tough start to beat Miletus into Teferi. This is gonna be a tough, tough start to beat. Trust me, I have a plan. Rude. Can't even really fully take advantage of Infuriate, which is infuriating. Let's try this. I 
Yeah, I'm planning on making budget two color decks also in the, in the future. Yeah, this is the first match, and we are getting destroyed. You can see they're still at 22. They were on the play with Miletus into Teferi and into Banishing Light. And I don't really know how we're winning this anymore. I mean, I can't use combat tricks. They have Teferi. I can't use combat tricks. I won't let you win. What's that? No chance. It's obviously going to take a while. But we have no chance, so I'm going to move on. All right, 0-1. We're on the draw again, but I'm going to keep this hand with the light of the stage and everything. Hey, Storkster. What's up, Waticus? Thanks for the tier one sub. Thanks for that resub. 17 awesome months. That gets our sub goal. Getting us towards our next 12 hour stream. So I want to claim the Steamkin after after they got some counters on it where I can use it for mana. No, I, I didn't do the that I didn't play the, the free draft, honestly. We could still get this. <clears throat> making this block because like if the ember cleave annex I'm taking 14 um, but I want to kind of incentivize them not to ember cleave annex to ember cleave something else but I I can't take you know lethal obviously Hmm. 
So I am. Hey, Goo. So I claim the annex. And then Embercleave Annex. And then it's, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plus this is 6. That's 12. You claim the firstborn is sweet. Like we just won a mono red mirror where we were on the draw and the opponent did like we did the same stuff but we were on the we were on the draw. You know, like so they did all that stuff first. Including Ember Cleave first. Like you're supposed to always lose. But claim just stole that one. Dude, claim the first weren't sweet. Yeah, or claim the claim the go first. Claim the first turn. Should be claim the first turn. We're on the draw. On the draw again. On the draw again. This would probably be really easy if we weren't on the draw again. Steamkin, I hope they don't either. Darn, they do. I hope they don't have any more land. And this is just their turn. I mean, this is still a great turn, obviously, but... I have to steal first. All right, so we're going to let's see. So I steal Steamkin. Play new Steamkin, so then that's a 4 power attack in for 5. Add three mana, light up the stage, and yeah, kind of go from there. Infuri infuriating. All right, got a better battlefield position than what we had last turn, at least. 
Don't really have anything to finish this up with, though. <laughs> hey, buddy, can I borrow your pencil for the test? That's what Steam Kid was doing for us. Yeah, if we if we can top deck Ember Cleave, that would be awesome. But we only have the two Ember Cleaves, of course. You make them think we have Ember Cleave. That block was. They would have been very dead to Ember Cleave with that block. But I don't have Ember Cleave. But I guess they don't really have a block that keeps them alive through an Ember Cleave anyway. Now, if they have their own Cleave, I die? No, because they don't have... They needed another land. They don't have the mana to play Cleave. I guess they could have like Stomp, then Ember Cleave, and add mana with Steamkin. Making the block so that if they do play a spell and then tr add mana with Steamkin, Steamkin dies. And you know, like we trade our one one for another one one. Sweet. I think that's that's eight in a row we've beaten mono red now yeah with just the, the different decks we've beaten mono red eight games in a row and we've lost everything else <laughs> Gosh, just mono red again. They got punished for playing their land first. 
<laughs> Lots of lands. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so of course the shock's going to go away. So I can shock the Fervent Champion. But then they infuriate the Fervent Champion to keep it alive. So basically, I can just trade it with infuriate. Or I can um, shock them. But that allows them to untap and infuriate their Fervent Champion with it when attacking. I think I'd rather them not play it while attacking. I should not have played my land first. That's alright. They had not much. So we've won nine in a row versus Mono right now. That's got to be... An achievement, right? Beating Mono Red nine times in a row and best of one. We're on the play. Is this our first game on the play? Pretty sure this is our first time on the play. Ah, yep, you're right. Tenno is final boss. We're on the draw this time, though. Or, like, my opponent's on the draw, so they get the extra card. Depending on what they play, we may be able to kill them next turn. 18 damage? Probably not. Probably not, but you never know. Alright, so if I claim Steamkin... And claim Fervent Champion. So that would be... So this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, but then 9, 10. And then we cast Infuriate, 11, 12, 13. I think I'm just doing 13 damage. Um... All right, what if I claim and then Rimrock Knight? Oh, gosh, this is too much math. And then play Rimrock Knight and then claim the Rimrock Knight and Infuriate. So I don't even know how much damage that will be. It's probably a lot. I think I'm just going to do one claim. Just kind of start casting stuff. Let's just see what happens. Six. Nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. This is 13, 14. If I had three mana, I can 
play both of these. No, don't don't let me run out of time. One short. Darn, so close. Ugh, one short. I knew it was going to be a lot. It was hard to count. They didn't give me much time. It's hard to like count up how much damage it was going to be, but I knew that was going to be a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, so right now, 10th Street Dodger can be unblockable. Like, that's that's my current line right now, is make 10th Street Dodger unblockable for one point of damage. And it looks like they're topped out. do the shock anyway. Do you claim the firstborn is sweet? Wow, that claim the firstborn is sweet. Four and one. Wow, we get to go first again. Two in a row. 10 and 0 versus mono red and best of one. That, that's that got to be a new world record. Yeah, if you want to, I'm, I just, I'm not, I took out the results for the people that want to watch like later on on YouTube and stuff so they don't have to see the results. If you want to know the results of the other decks, you can type exclamation point score into the chat. Uh, one, two, three. Is this lethal? This lethal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think I have thirteen damage. No, I definitely had more than 13 damage. I had 15 damage. I was two off on this. I counted I counted four times two on the Steam Can. It was five times two. I missed two, so it was 15. All right, well, that was my turn three. All right, well, what do you want to do for your turn three? Play this robber of the rich. Dude, claim the firstborn. That's the card. And we're five and one. Five oh against mono red. Five oh and mono red mirrors. 
We've won our last 11 games against Mono Red. Let's see what we face this time. Boo, we're on the draw. See, I'd rather this be Claim the Firstborn. We should just be playing for Claim the Firstborn. Two and Fury 8, instead of three and three. <laughs> yeah, claim the firstborn's the real robber of the rich. Like, like robber of the rich is a mythic. All right, I'd make sure no. No Pride Mate. I don't want to play Scourge Spitter and then they have Pride Mate. This is going to be tough to win, honestly. This is going to be tough to win. I'm using half my card for a 1 1. Infuriate this. Oh. Yeah, like Red Castle would definitely be. Easy way to upgrade. Um, I don't know if you really need Bone Crusher. Playing four Ember Cleave. Also, is like this. This deck should have four Ember Cleave. Stop. No, stop that too. It wasn't for this healer's hawk. Gaining them all this life. These turns are difficult. How am I winning this game?
champion's a nice one. Some good old first strike. Still gonna be difficult to beat this healer's hawk. And the law rune enforcer should be tapping down the annex. But the first strike champions are nice. Obviously, we would just want to draw Ember Cleave. Ember Cleave. Darn. I end up with two again. I don't know. So I can't actually stay alive. If I make this attack. I can't actually just attack all out. Don't know how we're winning this. Don't think that's it, though. You know, if it was like Land Ember Cleave, we're still not winning it. All right, five and two. A healer's hawk. Gained, what, either eight or ten life. One of those. Yeah, gained either, either eight or ten life, I'm not sure. Just gained too much. But yeah, if you wanted to upgrade this with... Um, Non-budget. The, the first thing is just playing four Ember Cleave. That's, the, that's definitely the first thing. And then also castles. Some of the red castles. We're on the draw again. On the draw again. Can't be serious. <laughs> yeah. A lot of Scorch Spitters. Ooh. We got 
had a shock. All right, maybe I shouldn't have made that block. It's probably still good to make the block. Maybe I should not have made the block. All right, do I want to use the Rimrock Knight? Just use it right now, or just keep Steamkin a 4-4. Four, four. Basically, Steamkin will be a 3-3. Three, three. So we have 3-3 three, three Steamkin plus Rimrock Knight in play. I guess that's better. I don't make that block I'm at 12 they're at 11 I would have that extra dodger I guess that doesn't even sound that good um maybe I hold fervent champion back yeah maybe we should hold fervent champion back Nah, we good. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's so the two yep, the two mythics are the ember cleaves. Do they have claimed the firstborn? Not they should. Claim the firstborn by Annex, I'm dead. Got me. Should have kept. I thought about keeping that fervent champion back, but you know, attacked for two. Should have kept that fervent champion back a little bit more than what I did. We finally lost to Mono Red after what was it? Um, was it ten or eleven that we had in a, ten? I think it was ten that we had in a row, right? Ten, eleven. No, it was eleven. Eleven in a row. Uh, and then we just lost. Darn, that streak's gone. Goblet Shrine, that card's still in standard? See the goblet shrine. makes my life more difficult.
So close. Pretty aggressive hand where they had, you know, turn two, uh, Oath of, or turn two, Birth of Miletus, turn three, Oath of Kaya, and then they almost die. They go to one. <laughs> Even with that. Pretty aggressive hand. I mean, obviously, we still have this because of the Ember Cleave. That's all good. Okay, so we finished six and three with mono red. Could have maybe been a seven two. Yeah, like that one that we lost to red was so close that that last loss that we had that maybe if I would have kept a fervent champion back, that, that was very close. Um, but yeah, mono reds. You know, this is a great best of one deck. I think that MVP of our our deck was those claim the firstborns. Um, this card was just incredible. I would. Uh, I liked the Rimrock Knight though. Also, I think I would maybe just play just a fourth claim, and you know, if if you want to, you know, not have a budget version, I would just take out Infuriates and play a fourth claim and play some Ember Cleaves. I don't know. Claim was awesome. It was really good, but. Um, yeah, so there we go. Budget mono red. You know, we still had our eight rares, our two mythics. Uh, and we still did a lot of work with that. Um, I uh, Giant? No, I don't think I'd play Giant. Robber? Yeah, we could. We should probably be playing some Robber. Maybe, like, instead of all the Rimrock Knights. The Rimrock Knight looked pretty good, though. But that would be the spot that, that Robber would maybe go. Um... But Rimrock Knight did look pretty good. Cause this this version so like with Claim the Firstborn, you're just so fast. So like having like the one mana two damage is nice. You play four robber and four rimrock. What don't you play then? I don't know if robber is that good. I don't know. Yeah, it's just a 2-2. Two -two. It costs two mana. It's a lot of mana. Yeah, you play zero claim. Yeah, claim claim was incredible. It won us a lot of games. It was much better than what Robber of the Rich would have been in every single time we had it. No, we never had claim against control, where obviously you want Robber of the Rich against control. But even even there, you can just like claim your annex. Or your steam can give it haste. You know, like we we claimed our own Rimrock Knight for haste once, which was sweet. But yeah, against control you'd rather have robber, but we were just we weren't playing against control. <laughs> Two mana is a lot of mana. Um anyway, there we go. Budget mono red. Alright, mono green time. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and of course leave those comments. Um yeah, let me know what you're doing with Mono Red. Uh, if you're playing Claim the Firstborn yourself, how's it going for you? Um, and everything like that. But uh, thank you so much for watching some Budget Mono Red, and I will see you for the next video.